Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church in Warner Robins, Georgia. I'm Pastor Andrew Howe. Uh, yesterday we looked at uh, the word change and how our, our lives are, are, are changing all the time. And, and literally right now we're going through change. Uh, but today we're going to focus on challenge. Sometimes change brings about challenge and the different challenges uh, in our change that we're going through. Today is Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be looking at Jesus' life uh, on that first Holy Week on Tuesday. When it, we think of Jesus' life that, that week of Holy Week, that first Holy Week, he definitely faced challenge. And uh, by Tuesday, as he had come into uh, the temple on Monday, uh, and what we call clearing of the temple, and, and, and really uh, desiring to change what was going on and taking place there, and desiring the Lord's house being a house of prayer and worship. Uh, Jesus was challenged uh, by the religious leaders in the temple. They were questioning his authority and, and where uh, the permission of his authority comes from. So on Tuesday of that first Holy Week, and it's recorded in Matthew and Mark and Luke, they were questioning Jesus and challenging his authority. And Jesus uh, avoided their plot in that challenge, and he offered them a question in their debate. You know, as they, they talked about John the Baptist coming before Jesus, and he reminded those teachers that it was God and his authority that sent John the Baptist to prepare the way for Jesus. Ultimately, that challenge would voice concern. As Jesus would teach in the temple and in the synagogue, uh, one of the things and in the influential teachings uh, that came out of that challenge and that teaching of our Lord's was Jesus offering uh, some wise words on rendering what to Caesar, what is Caesar's, and rendering what to God belongs to God. Some important words to follow as Jesus even challenges us, as we even are concluding our 40-day red-letter challenge here at Mount Calvary, uh, challenge can also be a good thing. Obviously, we know change can bring about challenge, and challenge can be frustrating, but there's also a good side to challenge. You know, as I think about Jesus being challenged in the temple and in the synagogue, you know, the, those familiar words in John's 10th chapter in his gospel. He, he brings about very comforting words, especially when we talk about the authority in Jesus' life. In John chapter 10, Jesus says these very comforting words. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the, for the sheep. And all the way down to verse 18, Jesus says this, no one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. Jesus willingly went into the scribes and the teachers of the law. He gave in to their authority, and it cost him his life. But the challenge that was before us and God, Jesus takes away. Because we have a good shepherd. And that good shepherd came and laid down his life for us. Even when we challenge God. Even when we challenge the authority that God places in our lives. You know, sometimes politicians frustrate us. You know, they're human. They make mistakes. And sometimes they challenge us. Sometimes they even challenge us when uh, we're looking at in terms of what the scriptures command us. But we have to remember there's only one person whose authority matters. The one whose challenge matters in our lives. And that's Jesus, our good shepherd. So as you go about your day, maybe you're going through challenge right now. 
But fear not. You have a good shepherd who laid down his life for you. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for your authority, that uh, your authority sent your only begotten Son into this world, who willfully gave up his heavenly authority and took on an earthly authority, and it was even challenged to the point of death, even death on a cross. Heavenly Father, as we go through challenge, I pray that you would uh, remind us that you're with us and that you are in control no matter what we face. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. God's blessings on your day.